Welcome to Siem Reap, Cambodia. I'm being hassled for a tuk-tuk. I'm here with Panos, doing our little backpacking tour around Cambodia, really cool. No, I've already had lunch, but these are very nice. Right, Panos, where are we headed? A market. We're going to a market. We're going to go buy some stuff, see what we can spend our money on here. Well, look, so this is the glorious centre of Siem Reap. You've got a big statue with an elephant on over there. You've got the pub street over there where everybody goes crazy at night. You've got, of course, when travelling in Southeast Asia, 7-Eleven. Everything you could ever need. I'm quite disappointed. We've only been asked for one tuk-tuk so far. Have you ever seen a cake pub? Cake pub and studio. Beautiful. We've got all these fancy cakes. It's a bit like being on Facebook Marketplace, look. So Siem Reap is famous for being the gateway to the Angkor Wat, Cambodia or, well, the Khmer Empire, Khmer country, whatever you want to call it, ancient capital. And there's all these amazing temples. I thought we'd show you a little bit of Siem Reap and uh, tell you some important news about Cambodia as well. This is uh, where you'll find all the pubs, basically. It's literally called Pub Street. And look how little a draft beer will cost you. Only 50 cents. Amazing. The beers are actually cheaper in the bars than in 7-Eleven. Right, it's quite late in the day. It's about 20 past five, so we're gonna head over to the night market. Hopefully it's just opening up and we'll be able to go have a look around, see what delights we can find uh, to spend our hard-earned cash on. Riverside Night Market. Riverside Night Market, there we go, up ahead. Yeah. Oh, look. It's a James Bond 007 Tuk Tuk. How beautiful, be very beautiful. Yeah, okay, nice. One take round now, one hour. Here's the traditional old market, look. Have a look at some of the things you can buy. Look, you've got dried beef, it's a Cambodian beef jerky, very typical. Dried sausages and fish. Hello. It smells very fishy here, look at this. Right, even though there's a zebra crossing, you can see crossing the road is not too easy in Cambodia. There you go, the cars will just come at you and you've kind of just got to pick your spot and go for it, have no fear. You have to remember, the drivers don't want to crash into you just as much as you don't want to be crashed into, I guess. Oh, watch out. Don't trip on there, especially if you're wearing flip-flops like me. Now, traveling with Panos is great because he always does all the research for the good places to go. Sometimes I contribute a little bit too, but Panos, great traveling companion. Yes, 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 yes. It looks like it's quite closed. There are some little shops open. You've got this little one selling golden elephants and things like that. All these little stalls selling drinks and snacks and food. Often you don't see people eating at them, so I'm not sure how they're making any money. Still early. Yeah, it's still quite early, so I guess people will still be out and about later. Maybe all these plastic seats will be filled up with people gorging on Angkor beers and Khmer curries. Everything you'll never need. Hello. No, thank you. Do I want a bag? No, I'm okay, thanks. It's like they spot what you don't have and try to sell you that exact thing. They say I don't have a bag on me. Of course, I've got a bag with me in the hotel. Hello. Here we go. Oh, wow, lots of art. All right, so we're just going to stop here because we've got some important news to tell you about Cambodia, right? Cambodia is a country with a very turbulent past. There's obviously the Cambodian genocide in the late 70s and then Cambodia has gone on a kind of a journey, a journey uh, to the present day where it's a democratic country, a very poor agrarian society. The GDP per capita is only about, ooh, $1,500 a year for many of the people living here. Obviously in the cities, people are a bit richer, but uh, it's a very rural society. Now, because of this, Cambodia adopted the US dollar as one of its currencies. Well, for use, not officially, but it's used in the country. And this was introduced in the early 1990s, um, alongside the Cambodian riel. So I can show you some of those. Panos has so much riel, because every time he tries to pay with dollars, he gets riel back. Well. In 7-Eleven this happened, here only, but the good news 7-Eleven accepts 
the Cambodian Reals. Yeah, so... In restaurants, we don't have this problem. We yes, pay dollars, we can exactly. So people will tell you that as a tourist, you can't pay with Cambodian Riel in this country, but you can. People will tell you that you've got to pay with US dollar, but you can pay with Riel as well. Right, so you've got this one. What's that? 100 Riels. Now, that sounds like a lot of money. Do you know how much that is? That is worth about 2.5 cents or two British P. 500, that is worth... 500 oh. here, just to let you know, this is the 500 for everyone because it's quite a little bit difficult to read. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't look like a five, does it, Panos? Yeah. No. And that is worth 12 and a half cents, about 10p. And the most amazing one, which is kind of tricky. So if you see that side, you think it's 9,000? Yeah, so there, it looks like a 9,000, no? No. This is the real one. It's 1,000. That is 1,000, which is worth... Da, 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 25 cents about 20 british p wow fantastic so you can imagine dealing with money here is a little bit complicated now you use the us dollar and the real interchangeably so what is it four thousand real is one dollar yeah but in cambodia they're a little bit worried because obviously they brought in the dollar because they were worried about their own economy but now they're worried about the US economy as well with uh, the upcoming uh, presidential elections, general global instabilities. But luckily, another country is stepping in to help Cambodia in this tough time. The best country in the world. The best country in the world, Panos, yes, indeed. It is the little island of Guernsey. Now, Guernsey has its own currency. It's exactly the same as the pound. It's worth the same, the British pound. But they produce their own notes. And you might not know this, or you might do if you watch my channel a lot, that in Guernsey, we have one pound notes. Guernsey has decided to step in as Cambodia's third currency, the Guernsey pound. One Guernsey pound is worth 5,000 real, which is about right, because one pound is, or what, about $1.20 US. Um, so with this news in mind, let's go and try and spend some Guernsey money, some Guernsey pounds here in the market. Let's do it. I'm looking for all of that. Yeah, let's go. So we're looking for a fridge magnet, I think. Fridge magnet, how much for that? Uh, this one I do for you, three dollars for one. Three dollars? Yes. Three dollars, very expensive. Whoa. How much you want to pay? <laughs> and this one, only one dollar. Okay. Yes, yes. They're all very beautiful, look. I want this one with the sunrise, I think. Yeah, sounds uh, like sunrise, because we went to see the temple at sunrise. I don't know if it's a sunrise or a sunset, but it's certainly something in the background. Mm -hmm. Now this one's nice, very golden. All right. It would look amazing on your parents' fridge panels. Or your own. No, it's my fridge. It's my fridge. You've managed to negotiate how much? One Guernsey pound? Two Guernsey pounds? One pound? Guernsey pound for this one. One Guernsey pound for this one. Wow, mm -hmm. okay, so here we go. There you go, one Guernsey pound. So he's local down. So this yeah, is so the new the currency for this... Uh... Yeah. You accept this money in your country? Yes? Yes, okay. yes. Oh, yes. fantastic. Yes, good. Thank you very okay. much. Yeah, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So that's how you spend Guernsey pounds in uh, Cambodia. They're accepting this money and it's fantastic. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a real boost for the economy. It doesn't include British pounds. It only includes Guernsey pounds, not even Jersey pounds. So well done Guernsey for stepping in to help out the economy here. So guys, thanks for coming along on this one. I know I've not posted in a long time. And that's because I've been very busy with the day job, of course. But hey, what can you do? Thought it would be nice to post a video. You know that I always like to post a video on the 1st of April. I promise I will have more videos coming out soon. I've been in Singapore as well, so I'll do a video there. But sometimes when you're traveling, it's nice to put the camera away and just go out, explore the place, really soak it up. So yeah, I don't always film when I'm traveling. I often do, but there you go. So videos coming soon, I promise. I absolutely promise. Sorry, it's been over a hundred days according to YouTube. But I like your tuk-tuk, it says Lucky Kiwi, which yeah. means someone from New Zealand. Yeah. But then you've got a British flag here. Oh, it's a kangaroo punching someone. So it's an Australian kangaroo punching a British flag yeah, for a New Zealand tuk-tuk. Very nice. I like uh, all of the cultural appropriation on your tuk-tuk, very nice. Over and out from CM Reap and over and out from Panos. Have a great time. Enjoy the beautiful river of Siam Reap. And what a beautiful place. Warm regards from 35 plus degrees Cambodia. Yeah, you can tell it's really hot. We're sweating, aren't we? There we go. More negotiation. We've got some Guernsey pounds back there. There you go. Any something else, huh? Any something else? Yeah? Not yet. Not yet. Table cloth, bed cover, or scarf. Okay, where are the 
you have scarves. Yeah, I have. It is now very confusing have having scarves. to carry three currencies though yes. around when you're in yeah. Cambodia. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got three ten dollars. Like that. Okay. We yeah. have Angkor Wat or elephant. You see? 